This is Jess Williamson and you're watching Zap Root. Turns out, people could really care less about bike theft. To prove this point, the Neistat brothers went around New York to steal their own bikes. They used bolt cutters, hammers, an electric sword, and not one person said a thing. Although, what would you say to somebody with an electric sword during rush hour? But that's New York. In Toronto, they take things a little more seriously. In July, they arrested this sexy hunk of a man. His name, Igor Kink, and he ran a bike shop in Toronto. Some undercover cops arrested him back in July when he and a friend clipped the locks off some bikes and tried to run off. But it turns out our friend Igor had a little bit of a bad habit. After he was taken into custody, police found storage facilities all over the city with nearly 3,000 stolen bikes. Igor's friends said he was accumulating bicycles in preparation for a severe oil shortage. Although others speculated that with his scrap dealer's license, Igor had a more sinister plan for the bikes. Igor, a Slovenian who told police that back in the old country he used to be a police officer and KGB agent, was known as the go-to man to retrieve a stolen bike amongst the Toronto bike community. But it turns out not everything in the shop was used. Along the walls, police found cases of brand new shiny bike locks. Joe Biden, the first vice president nominee to be announced via text message, seems to be best known for his lifelong commute on Amtrak trains. Yeah, it's cool that he's been one of Amtrak's biggest advocates and a big supporter of public transportation, but let's face it, it makes sense. He's commuting from Delaware to DC. That's what people do in the Northeast. I mean, I guess it's that everyone else arrives to Congress in a limo or on their private jets or the backs of their constituents. Anyway, Obama did boost his green cred by adding Biden to the ticket. The League of Conservation Voters gives Biden a lifetime score of 84, which is pretty good considering he's been in Congress for 34 years. He's introduced some great bills, including one to promote the use of CFLs, co-sponsored the Global Warming Pollution Reduction Act, calls for raising the fuel economy standard to 40 miles per gallon by 2017, and supports US participation in UN climate regulations. He sure raises Obama's score of 67%, giving the team a kind of lame 75% average. Until, of course, you compare it to McCain's whopping 24%. Free Chico bags are back, and this time, they're badder than ever. So go to our community site, sign up, and send us a message saying you want a free Chico bag. People will be selected at random each week. Free stuff doesn't get much easier than that. And now for some alternative autos. A new idea for getting you to lighten up on your lead foot is a force feedback pedal. Both Nissan and Continental are coming out with their own versions. When you try to accelerate too fast, the pedal becomes harder to push down, and a light comes on on the dashboard that tells you you're wasting gas. It's like a really annoying backseat driver. But when you really want to tear ass, you can turn it off. Not that we're suggesting any ass tearing, but that sounds weird. Who wrote that? <laughs> Check out this thing. It's the XR3 and it's a do-it-yourself diesel hybrid. It's a three-wheeler that gets 225 miles per gallon and you can get the plans at their website. There's a link in our show notes. And check out this beast, designed by the guys at Canadian-based Hickens Alp. It's called the Hinterland One. It's streamlined to have a super low drag coefficient to boost the miles per gallon. And comes with Belgian maple syrup dispenser. Just kidding. How tired of Canadians of hearing maple syrup jokes? Sorry. Folks at Bentley have thumbed their nose at the possibility of biodiesel engines, saying their customers don't buy diesel cars. Oh, pish posh, that's not true. True. Most of us have a couple of Bentleys and would love a biodiesel version, right? Speaking of biodiesel, here's something that's fast and veggie powered. It's called the Trident Iceni. It goes 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds, gets 57 miles per gallon, and costs about 75,000 British pounds, or about 12 billion US dollars. Thanks for watching, and all the links to our show can be found in our show notes at zaproot.com. Hey YouTube user, you should subscribe. The button is right over here. Seriously, this button's all over the place.